Hello there, I am the Bible of soccer. Yes, but soccer like this, not soccer. Okay? I mean, this video we're gonna talk about Claudio Bravo, the best goalkeeper in the world, and about how beautiful this board looks like. Okay, so I warn you, I have to warn you that English is not my first language, English is not my second language, and I'm here recording all this video from my cell phone with no teleprompter, no master edition, no guidelines, and I talk like this a little bit slow so I don't lose my train of thought, okay? So first, I'm gonna talk about this coach. Manuel Pellegrini, okay? This is Manuel Pellegrini because he used to give a uh, pizza to his players, okay? We know that in this kind of elite environment, poor people cannot eat pizza, okay? This stays uh, too long, for too long in your body, okay? The only Sport people who can eat pizza are swimmers, okay, but definitely not footballers. Okay, some people are gonna tell me that Ranieri gave pizza to the Leicester City uh, players. Yes, it's true, but apparently this only happened one time and it was to unify the team, to teach a lesson to the team. Okay, other people also have told me that uh, they can eat. Uh, with very refined ingredients, pizza. Yes, it's true, but this is not the kind of pizza that Pellegrini gave them, okay? So, no pizza, okay? But in this, in this channel, in this YouTube channel, which is uh, mainly an Spanish-speaking uh, Spanish YouTube channel, we have made uh, two videos, two different videos, talking about Claudio Bravo being the best goalkeeper in the world, okay? Long time ago. But today, Manuel Pellegrini came out and said that Claudio Bravo is the best goalkeeper in the world. The problem is that Manuel Pellegrini, you're killing me, Manuel Pellegrini. You're killing me. Why he's killing me? Because he gave no reason. He said that Claudio Bravo is the best goalkeeper in the world, but he gave no reason at all. He said he went from Real Sociedad to Barcelona, to Manchester City, and for that reason, he's the best, he's the, he's the best world keeper in the world. Hmm. Pellegrini, man, stay there. I'm gonna explain why Claudio Bravo is the best goalkeeper in the world, okay? So we have here, okay, this is Claudio Bravo. I'm gonna put him here, and this is Iker Casillas, okay, Iker Casillas, he, I don't know if he was, at some point, the best goalkeeper in the world. I don't know. But I'm going to tell how he used to, to play or how he still play, okay? He used to use his whole body to block the ball when somebody was coming, okay? He used to put his body here or outside, okay, to try to block the ball, okay? Using his legs a lot, okay? But I don't know if he was the best goalkeeper at some point of his career, of the world. But certainly right now he's not the best goalkeeper in the world. So I'm going to put him out. Okay? Then we have Gian Gianluigi Buffon. Okay? The Italian goalkeeper. Who is trying to delay his retirement. And he's right. Because he's a very good uh, goalkeeper. Okay, but two things. One thing is that uh, Gianluigi Buffon, he is the classic goalkeeper. Okay, if you want a goalkeeper that stays there, that stays there, and he's very safe, he's very secure, and he's going to transmit that security to the team, yes, Buffon is for you. Okay, but we are in 2016. And also, I don't know if today's Buffon is better than 2000 or 2005 Buffon, okay? I think most of you will agree 
that he was better in 2005 or in 2000. Okay, not today. And for that reason, I don't consider him as the best goalkeeper of the world right now. Okay, but he's one of the best. So I'm going to put him here. Okay, he's the best classic goalkeeper of the world, if you want to put it like that. Okay, then I am very bad for pronunciation. Okay, uh, when I watch the games, when I watch uh, the matches on TV, I turn the volume down. Okay, because I want to keep smart at football. Okay, I want to keep smart uh, in soccer. Okay, I mean, I don't know if I'm smart anyways, but I want, I don't want to be dumbed down. Okay, so I don't watch, I put, I turn the volume down, I watch the match and that's it. So that is why I don't know the pronunciation of the, of the players. Okay, but this is Peter Czech. Okay, or whatever is pronounced. Peter Czech. So I will call or I will describe Peter Czech as the transition goalkeeper from classic to modern. Okay? Why? Because he likes to go out a lot. Okay? When some player comes with the ball here, he likes to go out and try to block with his hands or with his knees, okay, with his entire body, but he tries to catch it or send the ball away, okay? Iker Casillas used to do something similar, okay? But he was more like in the acrobatic way, okay? He just jumped out and the ball hit him and that's it. Peter Cech do kind of the same, okay? But he tried to grab the ball or to send it away. Okay, he worries about the ball. Iker Casillas used to worry about just blocking. Okay, he worries about keeping the ball while doing this, while going out. But he only goes out in this area between the small box and the big box. You usually are not gonna see him outside. Okay, don't leave me a comment with a video about the one or a couple of times that he's been out. I'm talking about the usual thing, okay? He usually stays there and when somebody's there, he tries to go some block, okay? Catch it, catch the ball or send it away, okay? For that reason, because he's more like a transition between a classic goalkeeper and modern goalkeeper, I wouldn't say that he is currently the best goalkeeper of the world. I will not say that. Okay? But as well as Buffon, I will say that Peter Cech and Gianluigi Buffon, they were, at some point of their careers, the best goalkeeper of the world. Okay? Then I'm going to go with Manuel Neuer. Okay? Or Manuel Neuer. Neuer. Because after I made the videos in Spanish, some people left me comments. And now I know that it's pronounced Neuer. Okay? So how Manuel Neuer play? Okay, he goes out a lot to cut the ball in defending. Okay, when the balls come here, he goes out. And he usually goes with his head or with his feet and send the ball back. To in attacking okay basically what he's doing is defending okay but sometimes he come back with the ball send the ball back and the team can reorganize for attacking okay but usually what he's doing is sending the ball away defending and coming back okay he can do that here okay the same and or send the ball away. If he see that it's gonna be too risky, he send the ball away like every goalkeeper will do. Okay? The other thing that he has is that he's very tall and he can reach the ball. Uh, if he's here, he can reach the ball if it goes far from he, where he is located. Okay? And this is Manuel Neuer. I will say that Manuel Neuer it is, at some point, 
okay or maybe right now some people consider him the best goalkeeper in the world not my case okay but I agree that he was the best goalkeeper of the world at some point of his career okay and now I'm gonna explain why Claudio Bravo is the best goalkeeper in the world currently okay so number one number one he does the same as Manuel Neuer he goes out okay he blocks the ball sometimes he gets yellow car sometimes we have seen this a couple of times that he put the ball over the, the, the attackers and he continued the, the game I mean that's unbelievable amazing okay so he has he does the same as Noor but even in a more grateful way okay because he actually pass players okay okay he goes and they he left the attackers behind him okay number two he has a very good location okay he knows where he has to stand up okay because contrary to Manuel Neuer he's not tall but he has a good sense of location he know you're never gonna see Claudio Bravo like going uh, jumping and trying to block a ball and actually blocking it you don't gonna see see him doing that what you're gonna see is that he's already there he's already where the ball needs to be is gonna go he's already there okay that's why some people say that he is not a very good good goalkeeper because he's never gonna go like oh fine and he's gonna stop it no because his best catches he is already there and with another goalkeeper you actually will see that these other goalkeepers are gonna jump okay but he doesn't do that because he already knows where the ball is gonna be okay that's number two number three he has something that Neuer does not have okay which is his game with his foot okay he's he's the kind of a uh, He's the kind of goalkeeper that he's never gonna give the ball to the closest uh, defender. Okay, he's gonna give the ball to go in attack. Okay, he's the first attacker of his team. He always gonna give the ball to somebody to go already in attack. Okay, to be in attack position. Okay, he's the first striker of his team. Okay, and this is something that Manuel Neuer doesn't have. Sometimes even without having the possession of the ball, the ball comes to him and in only one touch, he's gonna do a very precise pass. Okay, to these players, very precise. Okay, most, some goals comes sometimes from his foot because he start the, the attacking and then it finish in a score okay then number four he plays in the important games he never fails okay important games he focus a lot and he never fails some people are gonna tell me about his mistakes yes I'm gonna tell you also for example in the Copa America Centenario okay I have said that Claudio Bravo is an emotional player okay how do I know he's an emotional player because some little girl in Chile sent him a message by Twitter and he responded because he didn't like the message in the Copa America Centenario his daughter was very sick and he was worried about that he wasn't focused okay in this first three 
or four matches, he made some mistakes, okay? And then after that, the coach talked to him, the players talked to him, some personalities uh, of uh, football from Chile made some statements in support. He got focused. He did a very good rest of the tournament, helping his team to win the championship. Okay? What happened when he went, when he visited Barcelona in the Camp Nou with Manchester City? What happened? He's there. The other team comes with the ball. And one of his defenders slip away. How are you going to slip away? How? Okay? So we're talking here about Claudio Bravo, who is an emotional player. This defender slip away. The opposite team players come and score, but not only a score, but do the worst that, that, that you can do to a goalkeeper which is walking in his knees like a baby, okay, and still scoring. What happened after that? He wanted to come back to Barcelona, to the Camp Nou, and show the other team what they let go. And this defender made a mistake. After that, the only thing he wanted is to disappear. He didn't want to be in the camp now anymore. What happened? It came a play. Okay, that it didn't go good. He took it. He got red carded very stupid. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, but remember that uh, Oliver Kahn also made uh, one big mistake in the final uh, World Cup 2002. And he was still the best goalkeeper in the world. Okay? So this is an emotional player. And we know that that was an emotional decision. Okay? And that was the mistake. Okay? And number five. He's good at uh, stopping penalty kicks. Okay? He's very good on that. We have seen that. That he always... Uh, he has a good record for stopping penalty kicks. Okay, so for those reasons, he's a very, he's a better goalkeeper than the rest that most people consider the best. Okay, Claudio Bravo is the best goalkeeper in the world. Okay, it is. I'm explaining that now that because uh, Manuel Pere Manuel Peregrini did a very bad job. Uh, by explaining it, but I am explaining it now. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want other people to see this video and make fun of me or to agree with me, uh, share it. Uh, subscribe if you can, but most of my videos are in Spanish. So if you know Spanish or if you want to learn Spanish, you can subscribe. Uh, and I'm gonna do the Confederation Cup and the uh, World Cup uh, Russia 2017 and Russia 2018 in English okay and uh, this is all you can leave me in the comments if you agree or not and it says goodbye to you the Bible of the soccer Bible of soccer have a good day